Surrounded by the deep blue sea, a strip of blue shallow water and white sandy beach, Mimatol Mullah is the perfect picture of peace and tranquility. With a population a little below 1500, it is little wonder that each family is related to the other, either by birth or by marriage. While the main occupation in the island is fishing and commonly related work, such as making dry fish and rihakuru, Mullah too has its share of people employed in the tourism industry. There is one school set up for formal education through to grade 10. Amidst this picturesque island lives 25-year-old Amina. She is pregnant with her third child now. After completing grade 7, Amina had to give up her studies in order to care for her younger siblings when her mother died. Amina got married at 19 and had her first child at 20 years of age. A few months ago, Amina's youngest sister died during childbirth and now Amina is bringing up her nephew. Thereafter, she gave birth to another girl. Amina's husband, Shakil, had also studied up to grade 7. After working on the island doing odd jobs, Shakil left for Mali, where he worked as a taxi driver for a few years, before he met a tourist who offered to employ Shakil as his chauffeur. Since then, Shakil has been working abroad and comes home only once in two years. While she found it hard to raise her children all by herself, she appreciated that her husband was providing well for them. Her mind wandered to something she had overheard during her husband's previous visit. Shakil had a slight cold and some rashes on his body that wouldn't go away, even after applying the medicine given by the health worker. Upon inquiring, Shakil said that it was probably just the common cold and some heat rash. After that, Amina did not give much thought to it until she heard her neighbours some days later. She heard the women in the house talking about her husband and she heard them mention the word AIDS. Though Amina tried not to worry, she could not help but think about what she heard. Amina did not really know much about AIDS. She had heard some programmes on the radio regarding this recently, but she did not give any attention to this thinking that it wasn't something that concerned her or her family and it seemed to be happening in other countries. But now, as she felt her baby grow inside her, she was thinking about it every day. Amina's chance came when an NGO sent their counsellors to do a survey on the physical health and nutritional habits of pregnant women. There's a Moldavian proverb which roughly translated mean being shy doesn't cure the pain. Keeping this in mind, when the counsellors requested for a convenient time to fill in their questionnaire, Amina chose a time when she would be alone at home. Since the counsellor's job required her to be up to date with information pertaining to all major health-related issues, she was able to give adequate information to Amina. Most people who become infected with HIV do not notice any immediate change in their health. However, some people may suffer from a flu-like illness within a few weeks of infection or may develop a rash or swollen glands. However, these signs do not mean that they are already developing AIDS. Free voluntary counselling and testing is available at four main locations in the Maldives. However, HIV test can be done at any health centre with lab facilities. It is very important to know that there are many drugs called antiretroviral drugs that can help to slow down the virus and maintain the HIV positive person's immune system. If one is pregnant and HIV positive, then she can benefit from treatment that can minimize the chances of a baby being infected with HIV. With enough information from the counsellor, Amina decided that the best option for her would be to get an HIV test done. The following day, after she had spoken to the counsellor, Amina went to the nearest hospital to get an HIV test done.